A woman gassed with pepper spray inside her prison cell is taking legal action to stop corrections using the cell-busting technique, which has been linked to two deaths in America this year. Lawyers acting for Karma Cripps, an inmate at Auckland Women's Prison, have lodged a claim in the High Court in Wellington. The legal bid seeks to have the American product, Cell Buster, declared an unlawful weapon in prisons and says hosing pepper spray into cells breaches laws which guard against torture and inhumane treatment. Investigative journalist Guy on Espiner reports. It's called the Cell Buster and it's marketed by American company Sabre under the tagline, Making Grown Men Cry Since 1975. This promotional video explains how it works. Cell Buster's fog delivery produces microscopic droplets which contaminate the cell and inflame the inmate's respiratory tract. The coughing and irritation produced by Cell Buster generally results in a much more cooperative inmate. The cell buster is used to extract inmates from their cells if they are deemed a security risk. It's been used 27 times in New Zealand prisons since 2016, including on inmates at Auckland Women's Prison. One of those prisoners was Karma Cripps, who has asthma. Her lawyer, Hannah Kim, says with that health condition, life is at risk. My clients had told me that it doesn't really matter where you stand in the room, you'll, you'll, be, uh, you'll be bombed and you'll be suffocating and you won't be able to open your, ma- uh, open your eyes and um, you will have trouble breathing. Now, a legal bid filed by human rights lawyer Douglas Ewan on behalf of Karma Cripps has been lodged to stop Cell Buster being used. The case claims Cell Buster is in a different league to ordinary pepper spray because it's hosed into cells in high volumes using a canister similar to a fire extinguisher. Corrections Union President Alan Whitley has been sprayed with Cell Buster as part of a training exercise for corrections officers. You get um, mucus in your snotty nose, your throat's tight, it becomes difficult to breathe, your eyes water. How unpleasant is it oh, if zero was absolutely fine and, and ten was unbearable? Um, I'd probably say seven or eight. Yeah, so it's pretty pretty unpleasant, yeah? Yeah, it's pretty unpleasant. But what we're trying to do is remove somebody from the cell who's in a violent situation, can be smashing their cell up, can be threatening to, to self-harm, can have a weapon on them. We've got to do something about that. In America, two prisoners died in June after being pepper sprayed in their cells. One case involved an asthmatic, and in the other case, the cell buster product was used, although the exact cause of death has not been identified. A major study into the use of pepper spray in prisons by the US Department of Justice in 2003 found pepper spray was linked to two inmate deaths, and in both cases, the prisoner had asthma. In New Zealand, Corrections Chief Custodial Officer Neil Beale says prisons are justified in using cell buster against any inmate considered a security risk. It doesn't prevent you from using it on a, on a person with asthma, but of course uh, there, there may be some necessary precautions that you might need to take. And, and there's always in a planned intervention they're going to they're have a nurse on site. Aren't you risking uh, lives there, Mr Beals? Well, their lives are already being risked by some of the behaviour that the, the, the people who you need to go and restrain you know, are, are using. If somebody's intent on setting fire to a cell or holding a weapon against somebody else or threatening staff that they're going to stab them when they come through the door, life is already at risk. The case being taken by Karma Cripps claims that using Cell Buster breaches the Bill of Rights Act by subjecting inmates to torture and degrading treatment. Green Party Corrections spokesperson Gorries Gurriman said it was part of a punitive prison culture. We must stop treating prisoners like people who have absolutely no right and sort of resorting to punitive measures like this that are absolutely harmful. So I do call on um, on the Minister to, uh, to have corrections stop using this. But Alan Whitley says banning cell buster would be a backward step. It would make prisons less safe, for, definitely for the staff that are having to go into those cells. And from time to time, if we're having to use physical um, methods to draw the prisoners out, uh, control and restraint and shield, it's going to make it un- uh, more unsafe for them as well. Corrections Minister Kelvin Davis said it was an operational matter for his department and he would not be intervening. The legal bid attempting to stop corrections using cell buster will be heard by a High Court judge in Wellington starting on Monday. For Checkpoint, Kogai and Espina, TNA.